In this video, I'm going to show you how to use DeFi on the Say blockchain. Say is one of the fastest growing DeFi ecosystems today. And so in this video, we'll talk about how to access Say and deposit funds to it in the leading applications that you can use on Say. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. Before I go any further, I'd like to remind you that nothing in this video is an endorsement of any particular investment. It's solely intended to be educational and not to be taken as financial advice. Now let's get into it. Before I get into how to use Say, let's really quickly talk about what exactly Say is. Now, when you think of Say, I want you to think of two things. First, it's extremely fast. The time to finality is 380 milliseconds, and it does roughly 12,500 transactions per second. And the second thing is that it is EVM compatible. Now, it wasn't initially EVM compatible with Say V2. It is. And what that means is the applications that are deployed on Ethereum, Arbitrum, Base, other Ethereum compatible chains, they can easily deploy on Say. And we've already seen that with Uniswap, the flagship DEX of Ethereum and really crypto as a whole deploying on to Say. And that differentiates it from most other fast high throughput chains like Solana, like Sui, two great chains that, that I've talked about on this channel before. But what differentiates Say is that it's compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine. And you can see this in its tremendous growth in recent months since Say V2 came out. We talked about Say on this channel in the very early months of this year. And back then, although there was a lot of excitement around Say, there wasn't a whole lot of DeFi activity happening by the numbers. The TVL at the start of this year was actually only $6 million. Today, it's $212 million and growing rapidly. In fact, the large majority of that growth has happened since the start of this summer. And if you look at the decentralized exchange volume, that has similarly been growing rapidly, growing from around $500,000, $600,000 a day in June to six, seven million dollars a day now. So 10x in just a few months and still seems to be on the uptrend. Now, that's a really brief introduction to what's going on in Say. If you want to dive in more, I made this one pager on Say that's available to premium subscribers of my Substack, linked down in the description. Also, I have several videos I made going into Say in depth, including an interview with the co-founder of Say on my channel for free. I'll link those down in the description. Now, let's talk about how to actually start using Say. First thing you'll have to decide on is which wallet you want to use. And there's a few good options here, and depending on which wallet you use, the way that you onboard to Say is going to be different. Say has their own wallet called the Compass Wallet, and if you create one with that, then you can easily access this Say dashboard. You'll have you'll have a Say address from the start. You'll see what that means in a second, and so on and so forth. Problem is, first off, that requires you to make another wallet. If you've been using crypto before, you probably already have a wallet. You may have several already. Uh, and so I'm going to not do that. I'm going to actually use MetaMask, which is compatible with Say since their upgrade. You could also use Kepler if you are using the Cosmos ecosystem. You can add Say to that and then deposit funds on there. Again, for this tutorial, I'm going to use MetaMask, although these steps would worth work with any Ethereum compatible wallet. So what we're going to do to start is we need to add Say to our MetaMask wallet because it's not going to be in there by default. And the best website for adding Say or really any chain to your MetaMask is going to be Chainlist.org. Chainlist is, is maintained by the DeFi Llama team, one of the most visited websites in crypto. And they have hundreds and hundreds of chains, basically anything that's Ethereum virtual machine compatible on here. So we can type in Say. I click on Add to MetaMask. I'm prompted to approve the transaction and it will offer me to switch the network to say then and there. The next thing that we can do is we can go back to this say application and now we can actually connect our MetaMask wallet to it. I'll click on connect wallet. I'll click on MetaMask and it just prompts me to confirm that I'd like to connect. And you can see here that now this EVM address that I'm using for the demonstration shows up under my say application. Now the problem is it has not yet been associated on chain. Let me zoom in on this so you can see it. So because say 
you have two addresses for any one wallet. You have your EVM address and then your non-EVM address. If you create an address this way by adding, say, to your MetaMask, you are also going to have to take this step. So I'll link this down in the description, but it's app.say.io. All I have to do is click I am human, and then I click on link addresses. I'm prompted to sign the transaction, which I just did. And there it is. We can see my say address is say one and then five, et cetera, et cetera. And now this is really important, really important to note is that when you are sending funds to this now, maybe you're withdrawing from an exchange. Maybe you have say somewhere else. Maybe you are depositing using rocket X, which we're going to do on this channel in a second. You're going to have to check whether you are sending things to your EVM address or your say address. Hopefully, in most cases, it won't let you put in the wrong one. But just to be safe, you have to confirm the format of the address that it's looking for. I'll say that again, confirm the format of the address that it's looking for. Most of them will be this say address, but it's possible you may encounter some exchanges or elsewhere that are looking for this EVM address. Now that you've set up the wallet, the next thing you need to do is actually get some funds onto say. And to do this, the best bridge that I found is going to be RocketX. And RocketX is really powerful because it has hundreds of blockchains on there. It taps into centralized exchange liquidity, and it allows you to swap into different tokens when you're bridging on chain. So the reason why I don't use most, say, bridges is that most of them, they will bridge over whatever asset you are bridging, such as ETH, such as USDC, but they won't actually give you any gas. Some of them will, Jumper Exchange does, uh, but some of them you'll just get ETH and you won't have any say tokens to actually make a transaction once you get there. RocketX, you can bridge it directly into say. In fact, that's what it does by default. So in this case, I'm going to bridge from Arbitrum over to the say network. I'm just going to send for this demonstration 0 0.0125 ETH. So about $30. You can see that it will find quotes here. And then once it finds the quotes, it'll tell me what the conversion rate is between ETH and say, you can see this is about $91.53, roughly equal to what I'm sending. Next thing you'll need to do is add the say network address. Now in this case, let's see what happens. So suppose I made a mistake. I went to enter the EVM address. This is going to tell me invalid recipient address. So that's good, right? It's telling me that it needs this other one. Whatever exchange you're using to withdraw from, maybe it doesn't do that. So you, you need to double check. However, if you're using RocketX, it is looking for this say address. So I'm going to save this. And by the way, you can also bridge from Ethereum or many other chains here. I'm just using Arbitrum for this example. And now I'm ready to click on cross chain swap. You can see any fees that you'll pay here. Sometimes there is a modest fee. I click on cross chain swap and I'll be prompted to confirm the transaction as you are whenever you make any sort of transaction on chain. Depending on when you do this, it may take a few minutes. RocketX lets you see the, the history of the transaction. Right now, there's not a lot of network activity compared to what the network can process. So it's only going to take me around five minutes. But if there's a lot of activity, keep in mind, it could take you 15, 20, 30 minutes or more. For me, the transaction took about 10 minutes to go through. But once it's complete, you can go back to the Say app and your balance here should have updated with your Say tokens. You can see here that it shows I now have 85 Say tokens. Now that the Say is in our wallet, we are ready to start using some applications on the Say network. The first of these is Silo Staking. Now Silo Staking is MEV boosted liquid staking on Say. If you use the Solana network, this is comparable to Jito on Solana. So what you do here is you stake your say in exchange for I say. And what I say is, is it's a liquid staked version of say, so you can trade it on a decentralized exchange for regular say. However, you will still accrue rewards from say staking plus the bonus from silo staking performing MEV. And as of the time making this video, those rewards come out to about 4.11% plus the boost. And one other thing that's even better about silo staking is they don't have a token yet. And they have said before that in the future, they may do some sort of points program. And oftentimes when applications do those points programs, people who were early receive some sort of bonus or reward for being early. Now, something that's 
important to note here is that points programs have gotten kind of a bad rap in recent months because many of them became heavily overfarmed with hundreds of thousands of wallets insofar as there's still opportunity to make money with airdrop and points farming it's usually on newer networks like say where it's not as crowded because there's a barrier to entry all these things we did before with making these multiple wallets and bridging things over that's actually a good thing for airdrop farming at least because eventually probably you'll be able to easily withdraw from major exchanges to say and by that point there will be tens or hundreds of thousands of people on the chain and most of the opportunity will be gone but we are trying to get in early that's the name of the game on this channel another interesting application on say is yay finance and yay finance is the largest money market on say with over 348 million dollars deposited what you can do here is you can lend out assets like tether say I say, so the liquid stakes say from Silo, USDC, Rapdeath, and Frax. And so what's really cool is you can then take that I say from Silo after you've staked say, and you can then lend it out on Yay Finance. And with this, you can earn 8.21% on your say, plus Yay has an active points program. So you're qualifying for a Yay airdrop, you are likely qualifying for a Silo airdrop, and you're earning some yield on your say on top of that. Now, a couple of things to note. First off, you're now taking on smart contract risk from two platforms. That is always an extra risk. Just understand that. However, liquid staking platforms tend to be some of the more secure of any sort of smart contract. That doesn't mean it's without risk, but tends to be some of the tends to be some of the more secure and even relatively prudent DeFi tre treasury managers use liquid staking combined with lending strategies like this. Currently, there are several different decentralized exchanges competing on the Say network. However, the leading one as of the time I'm making this video is known as DragonSwap. If you go to the website, you see here that it looks like your standard decentralized exchange where you can swap from one token to the other. For example, you can swap between Rapsay and Isay or Wrapped ETH or various stable coins. What may also be interesting to some of you is that you can also provide liquidity in exchange for incentives and you receive say or i say or say and fxs depending on the pool and by combining say with a stable coin currently you can earn between 45 and 90 percent depending on which stable coin it is pretty good pool to be honest although you are at risk of impermanent loss especially if the price of say continues to go up and part of the reason that dragon swap is currently the largest dex on say is that they have this ongoing points program called the dragon's horde where you earn points by either swapping or providing liquidity. And that means you probably qualify for a future Dragon Swap airdrop. Now, one thing I'll note is I'm not a huge fan of providing points in exchange for swaps because those can be easier for people to game. However, it seems to be working in terms of Dragon Swap gaining traction. Time will tell whether they're able to maintain that if and when they do their airdrop. Also, I want to note that as of the time making this video, Say recently jumped in price, as did most of the crypto market because the Fed cut rates. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get this video recorded prior to this pump. However, that's a good reminder that if you want to learn about these things weeks or months ahead of time, I have a newsletter where I talk about the latest trends and on-chain stats in crypto, and I've been talking about the rising growth in Say for months now on here, including this one pager, just a couple days ago. Check it out at dynamodefi.substack.com. And there's lots of other cool applications on the Say network as well. If I didn't get to your favorite one, then sometimes that's how things go. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.